CEO News TV, where you get big news for the small cap market. My name is Charles Sample, and you are tuned into the Executive Spotlight, where executives share their insights, current projects, daily challenges they face, and future goals and aspirations they have for the companies that they lead. With us today is Dr. Leland Gershel, CFO of Tonics Pharmaceuticals Holding Corporation. Tonics is a specialty pharmaceutical company developing non-addictive treatments for central nervous system disorders and chronic pain syndromes. Tonics Pharmaceuticals is based in New York City and is currently traded on the OTCBB stock exchange and its symbol is TNXP. Thank you. Fibromyalgia is a chronic pain syndrome and it's distinct from other types of pain such as bodily injury or pain from cancer. It's pain that originates in the brain and it's a fundamental abnormality in the areas of the brain that process pain. And a lot's been learned about fibromyalgia in recent years in terms of the underlying science and medicine of this disorder. Uh, the disease tends to be uh, diagnosed in women. It's nine to one women to men. Uh, patients tend to uh, get fibromyalgia in their 40s and 50s. Uh, again, there's a lot that's not yet understood about fibromyalgia, but I think what's important to say is that it's a very unmet medical need. Uh, patients who have fibromyalgia are desperate to feel better and to improve their uh, quality of life. There are drugs approved for fibromyalgia. They do work in some patients, but I think it's fair to say that a large segment, if not the majority of patients with fibromyalgia are still unmet uh, with current therapeutic options. How many people are affected by fibromyalgia worldwide? According to the National Institutes of Health, there are approximately 5 million patients with fibromyalgia in the United States. We don't have as good a fix on numbers outside the states, so in Europe or Japan, uh, numbers are not, not as clear. Um, but it's probably fair to say that the numbers in Europe are probably similar to those in the states, uh, and this is a very, a very large condition in terms of patient numbers. What new advance did you learn from this trial? Thanks. We conducted a trial of our new formulation of cyclobenzaprine, which is the active molecule and we call our formulation TNX-102. And we conducted a trial of TNX-102 in comparison to regular generic oral cyclobenzaprine tablets. And we learned several things. One thing that we learned is that cyclobenzaprine given under the tongue in TNX-102 uh, gets into the brain much more efficiently and is also cleared from the body uh, more rapidly the next morning. That's important because cyclobenzaprine causes next day hangover if it stays in the body. And that's what happens if one takes generic cyclobenzaprine tablets that are currently available. We believe that patients who take cyclobenzaprine today to help them with their fibromyalgia are suffering from next day hangover effects such as sleepiness and dizziness and so forth. And that really uh, gets in the way of their clinical improvement. In addition, we also observed that the pattern of exposure to cyclobenzaprine as delivered by our proprietary formulation, TNX-102, was much more aligned with the overnight sleeping phase for the patient. And that's important because cyclobenzaprine in fibromyalgia really works at night while patients are sleeping. It improves sleep quality, and we believe that's what leads to a benefit in the clinical signs and symptoms of fibromyalgia. One more thing that we learned that was important was that there was a difference in the metabolism of cyclobenzaprine between our formulation TNX-102 and generic cyclobenzaprine that's currently available. And that relates to the formation of an active metabolite that's called norcyclobenzaprine. Norcyclobenzaprine has a very long so-called half-life, which means that it stays in the body for a very long period of time, several days in fact. What we learned from the trial is that patients who took a generically available cyclobenzaprine had this persistent norcyclobenzaprine that lasted several days versus our formulation TNX-102, again given sublingually under the tongue, in which there was negligible, if any, form formation of norcyclobenzaprine. And the reason why that's important is because, again, norcyclobenzaprine is a psychoactive, persistent metabolite. And we believe that the presence of norcyclobenzaprine, which accumulates as patients take cyclobenzaprine chronically, leads to diminution of effect of cyclobenzaprine in treating fibromyalgia. And in fact, many patients find that after initial uh, positive results taking cyclobenzaprine for fibromyalgia, 
after a period of time, those effects begin to wane and they no longer have benefit from taking currently available cyclobenzaprine. So with TNX-102, we believe we've, by eliminating the formation or vastly reducing the formation of norcyclobenzaprine, we've really made TNX-102 a much more appropriate form of cyclobenzaprine for fibromyalgia because it can be given at bedtime every night and not have the accumulation of this norcyclobenzaprine metabolite, which again we believe really gets in the way of the therapeutic effect and benefit of cyclobenzaprine. Why wouldn't someone just crush the pills that they currently have and place them under their tongue? As part of our pharmacokinetic clinical trial, we included uh, a group of patients who uh, took uh, effectively uh, a simulation of crushed generically available cyclobenzaprine. And in fact, those patients were not able to get uh, absorption of cyclobenzaprine under the tongue by using generic drug. We have uh, innovations in our formulation TNX-102 that allow cyclobenzaprine to go through the tissues under the tongue and get into the circulation very efficiently. Uh, generically available cyclobenzaprine tablets don't have the composition that allows this, and therefore cyclobenzaprine doesn't get through those tissues when you crush generic tablets. What's next on the agenda for Tonix Pharmaceuticals? Having defined our commercial formulation of cyclobenzaprine, as referred to by TNX-102 sublingual, uh, we plan to embark on a pivotal or so-called phase three program in fibromyalgia beginning in the first quarter of next year. That'll consist of two efficacy trials of TNX-102 sublingual in fibromyalgia patients. And we believe that with that data in hand, we can go to the FDA and, and apply for approval of our drug for fibromyalgia. Dr. Grishel, thank you for joining us today, and may you and Tonics Pharmaceuticals have the best of fortunes moving forward into 2012 and beyond. Thank you so much for your interest and for providing me with the opportunity to discuss our programs in greater detail.